found if you get those and poke them in, you can pull the radio out. Um, and then with a bit of tugging, that'll come off. That aerial just pulled off. And apparently, I've got two clips at either end to pull this white one off. And a bit of wiggling on those black clips, and you can pull this off. So then I bought this cover which in theory goes on over there. Look how I've got the lugs to plug in. But that won't go on because that metal tray is in the way. Also, there's different connections on the back of here. So that's got connections like that. And that's got connections like that. I wonder if that's gonna go we all will find out and then lug straight in. So let's have a look and see. So I've literally just plugged that in. Let's switch the ignition on and see what happens. aerial connected so that's not going to work at the moment. Let's see if I can get the aerial to connect. <clears throat> so I had one of these in the garage. Plug that on the end of the aerial and see what happens. So that aerial adapter's on the back. We've got a USB plugged in the front. Let's turn the power on. and though he had a gentleness as well and he also had a cheerful kind of swagger and a dazzling smile and uh, he was still singing when he was well into his 70s radio works that's good aging lion. <laughs> he filled many a large concert hall with his glorious glorious voice mm. but moving on from all six foot three mm -hmm. of howard keel try to put it into his phone that i'm using one. and see what happens I have to say, I'm quite surprised. Just plugged my phone in, it said allow it, and then it's just come straight up with it. That's quite amazing. undo those two bottom screws and that comes off. So round is literally a push fit. And then I've got to find a way of getting this in there. But those lugs need to be cut off as I've seen in other videos. Well that cut off with the junior hacksaw, do the other one. And there's these couple of weird mounting parts that seem to go and fix onto that screw there. And there's one up under there as well. I'm going to fit those in, in and under there. So they're all screwed in. And this fits in there lovely. But, when I mount that on, it doesn't fit there right. It's going to leave a big gap. Left to right is okay, but it's not up or down properly. 
um, what I needed to do was, because it was a, such a lightweight radio, I just glued it in. It's got several layers of super glue around it. It's super lightweight. Uh, it's glued on and um, I will fit that in there. So I don't need these. Come out. And I'll poke it in. So push fit connection. Just unplugged off the other radio. I've got a little radio air adapter. And it's just going to push in. And sit on there very nicely. Remembered after I turned the power off as well, so it's got a memory on it. <laughs> 